The King's Avatar, Chapter 1437, Can't Follow You, Audio Source, WuxiaWorldAudiobook.com Chapter 1437, Can't Follow You Translator, No Yummy Editor, No Yummy Everyone in the stadium was starting to feel sleepy. This was Blue Rain's home game, but Blue Rain was entirely at fault for this boredom. It was their players who were waging guerrilla warfare. It was their players who were refusing to confront Yishu directly. It was their players who were dragging this game out. This was practically a test to see whether the fans truly supported them. Scattered all around the stadium, the loyal Blue Rain fans responsible for hyping up the crowd had encountered the greatest obstacle for a cheerleading squad. The game was dragging out for so long that even they were having trouble keeping themselves motivated. This is our team's strategy. Quote, they could only inform everyone sincerely. Trying to get everyone to cheer loudly for this sort of game would be too forced. Then, as if Song Xiao had caught under the crowd's feelings, his receding tides rushed forward. Everyone was excited. They waited, saving their energy for the explosive confrontation to come, only to be met with Song Xiao's receding tides running away. This was too hurtful to them. The crowd in the stadium were doing the same as Pan Lin. After crying out twice for false alarms, Pan Lin wouldn't fall for it again. Everyone could only pray that the match would end. Was there really any point in doing all of this? What's the point? Yi Shu represented the thoughts of Blue Rain's fans and questioned Blue Rain's strategy in the chat. Song Xiao used actions to reply back. Receding tides rushed out again. How many times has he done it? The audience members whispered to each other. This was already the only topic they could think of. The fifth. I think it's the sixth. Isn't it the sixth? If I'm remembering it correctly. All right, it's the sixth then. The audience members clearly didn't care much about this topic. Sky piercing cannon. Even a skill used to initiate battles wasn't anything exciting anymore. Everyone was completely numb to it at this point. Song Xiao's receding tides has rushed out once again. Let's see what he'll do this time. Pan Lin forced himself to sound energetic. But because the same scene had repeated itself over and over again, he couldn't bother to think of new ways to word it. Sky, piercing cannon, landmine earthquake. Oh, he has chi flowing cloud activated. Spiral chi kill mist. It hit a tree. He's starting to retreat. Lord Grimm is chasing after him. Pan Lin calmly described the scene. It was as if he wasn't talking about a battle. Receding tides has turned around behind the tree. He's turning again. The commentary stopped. Yi Xu had lost sight of receding tides. It looked like the chase stopped here again. But then, Lord Grimm suddenly retraced his steps, and receding tide appeared in his sights again. Ah, Pan Lin wasn't prepared for such a sudden change and couldn't find the right words. Fortunately, Li Yibo had been quietly thinking during the seemingly endless loop. When Lord Grimm retraced his steps, his eyes immediately lit up. He's caught on. Yes, Song Xiao had escaped from Yishu in the same way the last few times. This time, Yishu has caught on to him. Pan Lin clarified. Anti-tank missiles. Boom, boom, boom. Three missiles flew out. Ah, why'd he attack so hastily? Get closer. Pan Lin felt that it was a pity for Yishu. In his eyes, Yi Shu had seized a rare opportunity. From his omniscient view of the match, he could see that Song Xiao wasn't aware that Lord Grimm had retraced his steps to a different angle. Yi Shu could have sneaked closer. But instead, as soon as he found a new angle, he had Lord Grimm attack. Song Xiao was startled by the artillery fire. He was just about to dodge out of reflex, but he stopped himself at the last moment. This was bait. A sudden attack to bait him into jumping up and exposing himself. The thought had flashed through his mind, but then he realized that the direction wasn't correct. By the time he realized it, it was too late. Boom, boom, boom. Three anti-tank missiles exploded, all of them hitting receding tides. 
Song Xiao immediately rolled to reduce the knockback from the explosions while also adjusting his line of sight to see Lord Grimm. It hit. It actually hit. Pan Lin cried out. Although it was a sneak attack, launcher skills made noise. At this distance, Song Xiao could have reacted in time to dodge it, but he was still unexpectedly hit. He probably thought the attack was a trap. Li Yibo said. He misjudged the situation. It's not just that, Li Yibo said. What else is there? Yi Xu has started taking advantage of the terrain. Li Yibo sucked in a deep breath of air. Oh, these past few minutes. He's been running around this place in circles the entire time. Not only was Yi Xu familiarizing himself with the terrain, he's been familiarizing himself with Song Xiao's thoughts, Li Yibo said. So, he's already grasped Song Xiao's escape route. Pan Lin was pleasantly surprised. The surprise wasn't from his bias towards Happy, but rather, there was hope that this battle would finally end. Collapsing Mountain After the anti-tank missiles, Yishu didn't conserve his skills. Lord Grimm sprinted over and then crashed down with a collapsing mountain. Song Xiao had suddenly been hit by a strike and now his opponent was in front of him. However, he didn't panic and saw through this collapsing mountain's momentum. Receding tides took a step forward and then let out a palm. Chi break. A powerful high-level skill, yet it looked so gentle. There was no ear-piercing sound or flashy visual effects. All of the surging power was contained within the character. Until the final moment, no one would know what would happen. Chi masters were filled with hidden meaning. See. Chi masters are meant to be play dirty. Quote, when one looked at things from a different perspective, what one concluded would be different. Happy's Fang Rui didn't think about the hidden meaning behind this powerful skill. Instead, he thought about sneak attacks and playing dirty. His palm pushed against the side of the descending Lord Grimm. Song Xiao had calculated the distance and direction. Even if Yi Shu adjusted the angle of this attack, he wouldn't be able to hit him. It was too late for Yi Shu to switch to a different attack. Every skill attacked at a certain angle. At this point, there weren't any possibilities left, were there? Shing. A sword light slashed through receding tides. Sword draw. Song Xiao was shocked. You can do that? Amidst the spray of blood, receding tides was knocked back. His chi burst had been interrupted. The sword light seemed to splash onto receding tides as Yi Shu continued his onslaught. What's going on? What just happened? Pan Lin cried out. If I'm not mistaken, that sword draw was from his left hand. Li Yibo said. The battle was still ongoing. It wasn't convenient to put out a replay. As a result, the cameraman played the previous clip on a smaller screen in slow motion. From the smaller screen, everyone finally saw that it was a sword draw from the left hand. Lord Grimm's collapsing mountain had been executed using his right hand. While in the air, he switched hands and used sword draw. For a normal player, they would have to cancel collapsing mountain and then position the sword to the correct angle. WuxiaWorldAudio.com But Lord Grimm? They didn't know if he cancelled Collapsing Mountain or not, but in that instant, Lord Grimm's left hand grabbed the end of the Myriad Manifestations umbrella and performed a sword draw. This Collapsing Mountain should have been cancelled, but because of Lord Grimm's umbrella, he doesn't need to waste time adjusting the angle of his weapon. At that instant, he probably positioned his weapon for the left hand, letting him use his left hand to perform the move. Li Yibo analyzed. A surprise attack. No wonder Song Xiao was caught off guard. Pan Lin shouted. At this moment, Song Xiao had been grabbed by Yi Shu and caught in an onslaught of attacks. But the so-called Mr. Clutch wouldn't panic so easily. Song Xiao remained calm and defended, while looking for an opening. Finally, an opportunity came. Receding Tide seized this opening and tried to escape using the terrain. But when he made a turn around the tree AEAD, Lord Grimm cut him off. You've done this same move so many times. Aren't you bored yet? Yishu asked. Sure enough, Song Xiao's been completely seen through. 
Pan Lin shouted. Even in this terrain, there are very few ways to completely escape Yi Xu's pursuit. Song Xiao had scurried around so many times, yet still wanted to keep doing the same thing. It's as if he's regarding Yi Xu as a dead person. Li Yibo said, It looks like I can't run. Song Xiao defended and answered Yi Xu. Feel free to try again if an opening appears. Yi Xu said, No need. Let's fight. Song Xiao said, He switched up his fighting style. He was no longer as careful as before, always looking for an opportunity to escape. Receding tides had gotten into a fighting posture, ready to confront Lord Grimm. You should have just done this a long time ago. Yi Xu said, Do you even have enough health left to fight me? Song Xiao was quite arrogant in front of God Yi Xu. More than enough. I've been ailing myself. Yi Xu typed. While playing hide and seek with Song Xiao, Yi Xu had Lord Grimm heal himself every now and then. He couldn't completely use up his mana just to keep his health up. After all, Lord Grimm need mana to fight. He hadn't used Wish Prayer, which meant that he had most likely added a different skill onto his myriad manifestations umbrella. Come, Song Xiao shouted. I'm coming. Yi Xu replied. Lord Grimm turned around and vanished. This is. Pan Lin was speechless. The entire glory world was speechless. What is the meaning of this? Song Xiao stamped his feet. Did you think I'd fight just because you wanted to fight? I need to save my strength for the team competition. Yi Xu replied in the chat. Lord Grimm traversed through the forest as if he were extremely familiar with it. Yi Xu had already played on this map for dozens of minutes. I'm coming. Yi Xu suddenly shouted. Song Xiao wasn't disturbed, but Lord Grimm really did come. Shua Shua Shua, several fast attacks. Song Xiao raised his spirits. Shua Shua Shua, several movement skills. Lord Grimm was gone. Lord Grimm was matchless in terms of speed. Appearing and disappearing like a ghost was too easy in this sort of map. He's playing, the cooldown style, Li Yibo said as he saw Lord Grimm search for an opportunity to attack, in chapter, The King's Avatar, chapter 1438 Professional Sandbagging, audio source, WushaWorldAudioBook.com, chapter 1438, Professional Sandbagging, translator, Nomiyami editor, Nomiyami. Song Seo finally stopped conducting guerrilla warfare and prepared to engage in a direct confrontation. However, it was Yi Xu who refused to cooperate. Yi Xu started conducting guerrilla warfare instead, continuing the tedious pace of the match. Shouldn't Yi Xu be trying to hurry and end it? Why is he dragging things? Pan Lin said. He holds the initiative by being the one dragging the match. In terms of energy, it's more relaxing for him. If he fought with Song Seo directly, it would be a contest of reaction speed and mechanics. For Yi Xu, who's already played for 10 or so minutes, keeping up the speed and precision required for the overwhelming blitz of an unspecialized is difficult and tiresome. Blue Rain's intention to tire out Yi Xu in the group arena is already very obvious. Yi Xu isn't going to let them have their way, Li Yibo said. But if he plays conservatively, it'll be rather hard for him to beat Song Xiao. Pan Lin said. That's what it seems like. Li Yibo had noticed Yi Xu's sneak attack attempts. He was playing just like how Song Xiao did. He never went in too deep. As soon as the situation seemed slightly unfavorable, he would immediately retreat. He wouldn't brute force it. As a result, the damage dealt by both sides was extremely low. When Song Seo held the initiative, he two sides had fought for five minutes, yet had only taken down 10% of each other's health. Yi Zhu held the initiative now, but it was no better than the previous game of hide and seek. Even if he keeps this up, he'll still get tired, Pan Lin said. This playstyle put less of a burden on Yi Xu, but if the match went on long enough, exhaustion would still slowly build up. Yes. Song Seo is aware of this point too. Li Yibo said. 
Song Seo had been surprised by Yi Xu's sudden retreat from a direct confrontation, but after realizing Yi Xu's intentions, he calmed down. He had no intentions of reversing the situation. He calmly put on a defensive posture and carefully dealt with Yi Xu's attacks. If Yi Xu wanted to run, he would let him. He was in no hurry to chase after him. However, he couldn't let him run around too freely, so he would occasionally put some pressure on him. The intensity of the match need to be maintained to a certain extent. If not, Ye Zhu could just find a spot to sleep, and Song Seo wouldn't know. How would that tire out Ye Zhu? Coat Li, this is attacking by defending. Pan Lin said. Song Seo's sturdy defense made it so that Ye Zhu wasn't getting much from his multiple sneak attacks. If this scenario repeated enough times, Ye Zhu would still get tired. Ye Zhu still holds the initiative though. I presume he probably has a plan in mind, Li Yibo said. Time passed minute by minute. The stalemate continued for another 10 minutes. The second round of the group arena had already taken over 10 minutes. Including the first round against Yu Wenzu, Yi Xu had been playing for nearly 20 minutes. Yi Xu is picking up a rock and smashing his own foot with it. Pan Lin sighed. From his perspective, Yi Xu's decision was incorrect. Did he not think Song Seo could be so tenacious? But Song Seo is famous for being clutch. He never dropped the ball in the playoffs. Yi Xu was waiting for him to make a mistake, yet 10 minutes had passed, and he had nothing to show for it. His repeated attacks had only grinded down 20% of receding Tide's health. On the other hand, under Song Seo's persistent pressure, Lord Grimm had lost 15% of his health. Song Seo was very satisfied with this outcome. Not only had he achieved the original strategic goal, if these trades continued, this match would easily be his. 17 minutes. Song Seo looked at the time. This 1v1 had unexpectedly gone on for so long. And at this pace, playing until 20 minutes wouldn't be a problem. 20 minutes. Song Seo almost felt that it was inconceivable. Before today, he had never thought it was possible for a 1v1 to last 20 minutes. For such a long match, no matter if it was an intense match or not, just playing a competitive match for this long must be tiring, no. He was just defending, and he was feeling somewhat tired. And Yi Xu? How long was he planning on continuing this stalemate? He was probably riding a tiger that he couldn't get off. He probably didn't think that he could defend for this long without exposing any openings. Mr. Clutch. The nickname hadn't come about for no reason. No matter how important of a responsibility he was given, he never dropped the ball. It didn't matter if it became 20 minutes, 25 minutes, or even 30 minutes. As long as Yi Xu could still play, then Song Seo could as well. Song Seo didn't relax and focused even harder. But by concentrating, he suddenly realized that he had missed something. This isn't right. Why would I need to suddenly focus even harder? I've always been focused. There's no reason to step it up a notch. Could it be that just before, he had become lax? Hey, how long are you going to keep this up? Quote, at this moment, a message from Yi Xu suddenly popped up. As long as you want. Song Seo replied, really? But unfortunately, I can't accompany you the entire way through. Yi Xu said, what? Song Seo was startled. Had Yi Xu given up? Was he going to type GG? One last time. I'm coming. The moment the message came out, Lord Grimm rushed out. Song Seo reacted fast, and receding tides immediately moved to receive him. Is he planning on putting up one last fight? The likelihood of Yi Xu directly going GG was small. 
From Yi Xu's actions, it seemed that he had finally realized he couldn't continue dragging things, so he was planning on ending it as soon as possible. A pity. You only made this decision now. Even so, I won't let you have your way so easily. Song Xiao had a plan in mind long ago. When he had prepared to fight Yi Xu directly, he had no intentions of ending it quickly. His ultimate reason for standing here in this match was to drag things. Whether it was through hit and runs or through direct fights, he would do his best to drag this match. Right now, Yi Xu wanted to settle it, but Song Xiao wasn't going to let him end it so easily. He would continue defending tenaciously for as long as he could. Come. Song Xiao prepared himself. Suddenly, a light appeared in his sights. Sword Light. This fast. WushaWorldAudio.com. Song Xiao was startled. He hadn't been mentally prepared for an attack this fast. Roll. Song Xiao instinctively rolled. Receding tides immediately rolled backwards, but soon afterwards, receding tides spun around into the air. What happened? Song Xiao was dumbstruck. The attack had come out faster than he had expected. He had planned on making a counter-attack after the roll, but before he could even finish the roll, he was launched into the air. Yi Xu has suddenly launched an all-out offensive. Only two attacks, and he's broken through Song Xiao's defenses. What's going on? Pan Lin was dumbfounded. He almost couldn't believe what was happening in front of his eyes. Eleven minutes. An entire eleven minutes. During these eleven minutes, Yi Xu had launched who knew how many of these attacks, but every time he did so, Song Xiao would block them all. Then, Yi Xu would retreat. The scenario would repeat itself, and it just looked like Yi Xu was helpless. But this time, how did he suddenly break through Song Xiao's defenses? Take a look at this, Li Yibo suddenly said. A smaller screen appeared on the broadcast. This smaller screen didn't show a replay, but rather a graph. The curve went from high to low and then stayed low for a long time before a sudden spike. This was Yi Xu's APM during these 11 minutes. Li Yibo said, How low? Pan Lin noticed the long length of time. It was a valley that lasted 7 minutes. And before hitting this valley, there was a gradual downward drop. 40. An APM of 40 appeared in a pro match. And this APM had lasted for 7 minutes. No matter how effective each action was, 40 APM was nowhere near enough in a pro match. Someone with such a low hand speed should have been eliminated long ago, yet he had unexpectedly lasted 7 minutes with an APM of 40. What was his opponent doing in these 7 minutes? Everyone knew the answer. During these seven minutes, Song Xiao had been defending earnestly, defending against an opponent with an APM of 40. How did it turn out like this? Quote, Despite seeing the data, Pan Lin couldn't believe it. They had been watching from an omniscient view, how come they hadn't noticed Yi Xu sandbagging to such a degree? Song Xiao's been completely tricked, Li Yibo said. In the first four minutes, it could be said that Yi Xu had injected an anesthesia into him. Using these four minutes, he had gradually lowered the intensity of his attacks, making small but careful adjustments to his pace such that Song Xiao wouldn't notice. After these four minutes, Lord Grimm's attacks became much more terse than before. However, Song Xiao had been maintaining his 100% to defend the entire time. He had assumed he had been tiring out Yi Xu, but he hadn't noticed that Yi Xu had actually been sandbagging the entire time. He was the one tiring himself out. Li Yibo said, You can do that. Even though Li Yibo explained it clearly, Pan Lin felt that it was inconceivable. However, when he thought about it again more closely, Yi Zhu hadn't tricked just Song Xiao, but the viewers watching as well. Sandbagging. To think this phrase could be used to describe the pro match. 
and in a 1v1-2, a sandbagging that lasted seven minutes. Pan Lin didn't know what to say. He watched as the match proceed. Lord Grimm's onslaught had sent receding tides into a complete mess. When the first attack had struck, Pan Lin had initially thought that Song Seo had reacted a bit slow and believed it was because Yi Xiu had distracted him with his message. He thought that Song Seo would quickly recover. But now he knew. The reason Song Seo had reacted slowly was because Yi Xiu had been conditioning Song Seo for the past seven minutes. The sudden acceleration was too abrupt for Song Seo to react in time. Song Seo hadn't been sandbagging those 11 minutes. He had been focusing the entire time. He was tired. But I don't think Yi Xiu can win. Li Yibo suddenly said, Why not? His mana. Lord Grimm doesn't have enough mana. Li Yibo said, But Yi Xiu's already done everything he could. He didn't let Blue Rain's strategy tire him out and dealt as much damage as he could to receding tides. Afterwards, he'll be leaving an exhausted Song Seo for his team's next player. Yi Zhu is truly terrifying. End chapter. The King's Avatar. Chapter 1439 Not Easy. Audio source. WushaWorldAudioBook.com. Chapter 1439 Not Easy. Translator, Nomyumi Editor, Nomyumi. The second round of the group arena finally ended. As Li Yibo had predicted, Song Seo had won. Yi Zhu had been limited by his mana. After sandbagging for seven minutes, he leaped out and gave Song Seo's receding tides a fierce beating. He used up all of his mana, though, and lost in the end. Song Seo won, but even so, Team Blue Rain's brain dead fans weren't excited. If this were an individual competition, the outcome would have been worthy of celebration. But this was only a part of the group arena. Yi Xu had not only defeated Yu Wenzu, Song Seo's receding tides only had 28% of his health left. How could they be excited? When Yi Xu walked off from the stage, the Blue Rain fans didn't know what sort of attitude they should display. Applause. Not possible. Boo. They couldn't do it. The reason the match had turned out this way was because of Blue Rain's own strategic arrangements. Not only did they fail to accomplish their goals, Yi Xu had sandbagged and fooled them. If they booed Yi Xu, Team Blue Rain would be the ones losing face. This match went on for 19 minutes and 21 seconds, which is probably a new record for a 1v1 on the competitive stage, Pan Lin said. Probably, Li Yibo nodded his head. They just mentioned this record in the passing. They didn't actually care too much about it because it wasn't a record worthy of being proud of. In a 1v1, the faster the match ended, the more impressive it was. Only those sorts of records were worthy of being remembered. Yi Zhu had the dominant position in the last parts of the match. I feel like if he had conserved his man a bit better, he might have been able to beat Song Seo, Pan Lin said. Uh? I think he probably held back intentionally, so he wouldn't waste too much energy in this match. Li Yibo said. He was that in control? Pan Lin muttered in disbelief. Nice job. The members of Team Happy got up to welcome back Yi Zhu. Sit, sit. That must have been exhausting. Chen Guo was worried. Blue Rain's intentions had been obvious. Even though Yi Xu had been able to relax for seven minutes, the two 1v1s he played had lasted nearly half an hour. He had played for a long time. I'm good. Yi Xu smiled. No need to be worried. He's definitely fine. Wei Chen said. How do you know? Chen Guo said. He played the online game day and night for a year, yet he was still able to maintain his skill level. How he could he not know how to conserve his energy? To think those youngsters at Blue Rain would actually employ this sort of strategy. They definitely messed up. If they wanted to tire him out, they should be fighting him directly. Wei Chen said, that, 
seems to make sense. Chen Guo thought about it for a second. In the regular season, in their second match against Wind Howl, Tang Hao had fought a 1v1 against Yi Xiu in the individual competition. The two sides had fought each other in a direct confrontation. That 1v1 hadn't lasted long, but Yi Xiu had clearly looked exhausted after winning the match against Tang Hao. Using a direct method was a better way of tiring out Yi Xiu. If we knew those guys would make this sort of arrangement, I should have gone up to play too, Wei Chen joked. Everyone laughed. After knowing that Yi Xu wasn't too tired, everyone felt more relaxed. Happy's second player was Mo Fan. This map was clearly suitable for him. After seeing this map, everyone already had high hopes for Mo Fan. It was just that no one could see any sort of enthusiasm or excitement from him. Mo Fan mumbled a MM and then went up on stage. When the third round of the group arena began, Pang Lin and Li Yibo could tell that this map was rather suitable for Mo Fan. As expected, Mo Fan didn't hesitate to take a roundabout route. However, he went along the west path, while Song Xiao's receding tides went along the east path. Thus, the two characters passed by each other. When Song Xiao approached the central path but didn't see Mo Fan, he said a few words in the chat. Mo Fan did not respond though. When he didn't see receding tides on the west path, he directly cut to the east path. Song Xiao's receding tides only had 28% of his health left. He didn't dare be as bold as Mo Fan. Receding tides went in a circle and cut across the center. When the viewers saw their movements, Song Xiao running around randomly might really end up with him circling behind Mo Fan. Ah, this. I'm not sure if I should say that Song Xiao's luck is rather good, or if Mo Fan is being too careless. Pan Lin said, careless. If you look closely, Mo Fan is being very careful. Li Yibo chuckled. Oh. Pan Lin took a closer look after Li Yibo's reminder and soon noticed the hints. Mo Fan's deception wasn't just rushing forward mindlessly. When he made the horizontal cut across, he borrowed the dense forest as a cover. Mo Fan's this familiar with the map. Pan Lin was surprised. I remember you saying that Yi Xu had picked up a rock and smashed his own foot with it. Li Yibo joked. I think those words are more suitable for Blue Rain. What? Oh. Pan Lin suddenly remembered. Blue Rain wanted to tire out Yi Xu. But after playing for so long, not only did they fail to do so, by dragging on the match, Happy had a lot of time to familiarize themselves with the map through the spectator omniscient view. Correct. Mo Fan is only a first-year rookie. How could he coincidentally be familiar with the map Blue Rain chose? His understanding of the map is because of the nearly 30 minutes of time Blue Rain had gifted him. Li Yibo said, Watch our world audio.com. Today, Blue Rain has truly miscalculated. Pan Lin sighed. It looks like Yi Xu might have had a method to finish the match quickly, but he intentionally went along with Blue Rain's pace to give his teammates time to understand the map, Li Yibo said. This? Is that true? Pan Lin was astonished. Beating them at their own game, isn't that his usual style? Li Yibo said. But it didn't feel that excessive during his time with one autumn leaf. Pan Lin said, probably because he didn't have as much pressure on him before. Li Yibo said, Pan Lin stared blankly and realized that it was true. Yi Xu wasn't as young as before to the extent that Blue Rain would intentionally try to exhaust him. The current him probably couldn't charge forward fearlessly like before. He need to use his brain more in these matches. In addition, Team Happy was not a powerhouse like Team Excellent Hera. Although the sudden appearance of a bunch of level 80 silver equipment in the first round had given everyone a fright. 
After observing them in real combat, the pro teams could see that Happy's level 80 silver equipment seemed rather superficial. The equipment didn't reach their theoretical might. They were at best as good as level 75 equipment. The R&D departments of the participating playoffs team all had talented people. Before the first round of Happy vs. Blue Rain had ended, there were already people who had reached this conclusion. Happy was trying to catch up to everyone else. The level that their equipment could reach could only approach the level of these powerhouses. Level 80 silver equipment weren't miracles. They were tricks. They could only approach but not exceed. For Happy to reach this stage was already impressive. People were perhaps no longer surprised by Happy's outstanding performance to the extent that they had forgotten how Happy had achieved such incredible results under such disadvantageous conditions, and how much effort had Yi Xu put in during these hardships. Leading a powerhouse and leading a new team, there was no need to explain which one was more difficult, no. Leading this new team, Yi Xu had beaten Team Excellent Era in the Challenger League. He had 37 1-1 V1s in the regular season. Team Happy finished 6th in the regular season and entered the playoffs and had the lead right now against Team Blue Rain. Was Yi Xu truly not as good as he used to be? None of that could be seen. The current Yi Xu might be the best Yi Xu. He was able to utilize all of his talents in glory to lead Team Happy to such heights. Many people should open their eyes and look again more clearly. Li Yibo's nonchalant remark made Pan Lin suddenly feel emotional. Yi Zhu had built Happy up from nothing, starting from that internet cafe all the way to the playoffs stage, step by step, difficult yet brilliant. He really has got in behind him. Quote, at this moment, Li Yibo shouted, bringing Pan Lin back to the match. Pan Lin saw that Song Xiao's receding tides had taken a roundabout path, making an arc behind Deception's horizontal cut across. But, he doesn't know. Song Xiao repeatedly looked in all directions, but he didn't seem to notice Deception. How unfortunate, Pan Lin said. His heart had swayed towards Happy, but he had to maintain a professional attitude. At this moment, Mo Fan's deception suddenly stopped. Has Mo Fan sent something? What keen intuition! Pan Lin shouted. It's probably because while he cut across, he had traversed quite a bit of distance yet still didn't meet his opponent. From this, he was able to deduce that his opponent had chosen a different route. What do you think he deduced from that? Li Yibo said. Turn around and retrace his steps. Pan Lin said excitedly. If Song Xiao doesn't make any large adjustments, they will soon run into each other. Li Yibo said. But Song Xiao needs to pay attention to where he looks. If he doesn't focus and misses it, he'll be on the defensive. Pan Lin said. That will depend on what he thinks Mo Fang is doing. Li Yibo said. The two had started talking faster, matching the increasing tension in this life and death match. They're getting closer, closer, closer. Pan Lin shouted non-stop. Song Xiao. Li Yibo sighed. Because Song Xiao wasn't looking at where deception was coming from. And after Mo Fan discovered receding tides, he had deception high behind a tree. By the time Song Seo turned towards his location, all Song Seo could see was dense fog. End chapter.